What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the Rant Review Entertainment. We're continuing our reaction videos to The Walking Dead Season 11. This is Episode 4. Apparently, it's going to be heavily focused on Daryl and Dog. And this is probably where we saw in the trailer Dog got hurt and whimpered, and I'm very concerned about watching this. But um, before we get into that, though, of course, I always want to remind you guys this being YouTube. YouTube likes its algorithm, and it likes its algorithm for you to hit that like button. So be sure to hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, might as well hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you're notified when I have more videos and reaction videos to The Walking Dead here on the channel. So right now, let's get into it. Let's watch this latest episode of The Walking Dead. And hopefully, I hope, that nothing bad is about to happen to Dog. Because if so, I'm going to be really pissed off. But let's get into it now. Oh, so we're back at this now. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of people got killed. Go, dog. Go get him, dog. I don't know if I want dog to go get him because I know this is the one where dog whimpers. I don't know. Please don't kill dog. That's all I say. Uh, Daryl using the old ninja distraction skills. Face lock on Daryl. Come on, Daryl. Daryl. Yo, did a sp spinning neck breaker. <laughs> oh, dog bit him. Daryl, why are you just standing there watching? No. Oh, kill that son of a bitch. Yeah, there she is. You can, you can tell by her eyes. We saw her so much in that one episode. Oh, dog's fine. Okay, dog's fine. He just ran away because he... Well, you know, dog was outmatched. She was smart enough to get the hell out of there. That was a, that was a short little trot there, Daryl. Oh no, she's got dog. Go, go. Let him go. Our hair color is different. She went gray. I never, I never thought I'd see you again. Yeah, I thought the same. You alone? You alone? See anybody with me? I saw you out on the road with the others. Who are they? Yeah, it hurt. That's the second time she'd have pointed that shotgun at you, Daryl. One of them? Across a small group on the road. But no. I ain't one of them. Travel light. Liar! Go on, go. Come on, boy. Come on. <laughs> Dog's like, nah. Fine. We're going. Come on. Dog's like, nah. Nah, we captured. Starve. Asshole. Telling you best is the thing. Yep. Yep. I ain't going in for well for him. Daryl starring in Shawshank Redemption. Hmm? Maybe in Stubborn? Fine. Hard-headed. Oh, the same you thing. You need to tell me the truth. I never lied to you. Never, Leah. Wow. I'm not gonna start now. 
You just lied to her multiple times right then. Let's try this again. What do you know about those people? I don't know shit. And you lied again. I'd help you if I could. You know I would. And you lied again. Just give me dog. Let me go. You'll never see me again. And you lied again. Oh, they beat the hell out of that dude. What is it? So we could actually pay our bills. Michael was like me and that he didn't have a family. He was a little brother I never had. You know, the little brother I always wanted. I thought she had a son that died. And he's dead. This is the first time I've lost someone close to me in a long time. Well, except for Daryl. There we go. You left me. I asked you what you wanted. You left. But he came back. You should have waited. He was gone for like 30 seconds. I do like them together, but I just have a feeling this isn't going to work out in the end. It's going to be another sad story. I mean, they kind of work well, they work well together. But then there's still Connie and then people still holding out for Daryl and Carol. So Doesn't matter. Knows? We wouldn't have worked anyway. Couldn't have been happy. Not in a world like this. Is that you I just try to convince yourself. This is me, Daryl. The good and the bad. All of it and always has been. I don't believe you. Yeah, he sees right through her. Well, she's trying to be, she's trying to push him away. You and I don't want anything bad to happen to you. Aww. So you need to tell me something. You had about two million other women in the world. Because if you can't, I can't control my commander and what he will do next. He's angry about Turner. And he wants someone to pay. Give her something, Daryl. There's a woman. She's the leader. Maggie. They were speaking in code. He's lying again. Skinny guy. Never shuts up. <laughs> this is Anthony Egan. And a priest who carries a shotgun. That's Gabriel. their leadership? Yeah. But they have the numbers. One of their soldiers slipped up and he was going to go meet three dozen of their fighters. <sighs> You've been doing your work down here, huh? Uh-huh. She, I think she, I think he said too much. She knows he's lying now. Daryl just lying his ass off though. We got numbers. They were meeting soldiers. They talked in code. Where is all this coming from, D? It's starting to sound like your brother. When do I meet him? Yeah, because that other dude's about to turn into a walker. Soon. Yeah, I don't know if you want to meet Pope, Daryl. Got something to say? Come on, man. Don't be shy. You're about to meet the man. Yeah, save that coy shit for your girlfriend. Betting she wears the pants for homeboy here. Isn't I bet right? none of these three guys get any pee whatsoever. I guess I'll just show my dumb ass out then. Yeah, you do that because your dumb ass is getting on my damn nerves already. I don't even know who you are. Follow my lead. Taking a piss? Oh no. Oh shit, they're gonna set him on fire. Yep. Oh damn. Is it her in there too?
Uh oh. Cornered. You ain't going anywhere. That's all of them. It's not really a big force though. She's got a side with him though. I think she's. Dude, you are a freaky looking something. That's not moonshine. We know what happens when Daryl gets drunk off of moonshine. Ask Beth. You have to be quiet. Can't hear you. I'm taking a piss. Daryl, don't talk so loud. Well, you my chaperone now? It did not stop. We lost some of our own. Had to run through the fire to save them. Oh, so that's why the fire test. Okay. Up there is everything, and I mean everything. Burr. That's the same church that Nagy, Maggie and Negan were in? Finally, they died down. I looked at my people. I could not believe it. Not even a scratch. A scratch. And that's when I knew. Want to ask there, bud? We were the chosen ones. I had no. I chose you tonight. I mean, you, you came out of that fire alive and whole. Uh -huh. And it burns, scratch. Okay, you're crazy. Been worse before. Yeah, Daryl has been through much worse than that. Are you hungry? Dude, you are freaking me out. This is cr crazy, crazy, crazy old dude with an ugly mustache. Oh, this guy's in trouble. God doesn't only use fires as baptism. It's also his wrath. No, oh, no. Dude, you're done. Yep. <laughs> A new item on the menu. We are the shows once into the battle. We run into the fire. Always. Yeah, Daryl. Daryl's like this dude is lost it. And what are you doing with him? And she's like, yeah, she's like, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh God! Okay, that was an interesting episode. So it's me. It's it's all about Daryl and Leah and the the Reapers, and we find out a little bit more about the Reapers here. Pope, Pope is a, is is the latest in the long line of villains in The Walking Dead. Um, I I got a little bit of Governor vibes from him, but he's way far gone than than Brian or Philip, whatever his name actually was. He's farther gone than the governor was. He, this is probably what would have happened with the governor if he had lived this long. Um, yeah, he's he, this is a different kind of crazy, um, which is interesting with The Walking Dead because they explore all different kinds of crazy from Gareth and the, the uh, Sanctuary Terminus people. Uh, again, the governor... Uh, Shane Negan had his own little weirdness. Alpha, of course, in the last couple of seasons, she had a different kind of crazy Pope, who obviously is not going to be a long-term villain. I mean, this is the last season. He's probably going to last, I don't know how long he's going to last, maybe only through the first part of the season, the first third of the season. But I think it's less about him being a villain and more about what's going on with Daryl and his girl and... You know, we kind of see where this is going. The question is, is she going to survive? That's the big question. Is she going to survive this? Because we know Daryl's going to get away. Um, he's not going to stay with these people. The other big question is, what's going to happen when she finds out that he's been lying? To, he lied to her a lot. 
Daryl done a lot of lying, lot of lying in this episode to her about the group. Um, the only thing he didn't lie about is that there's <laughs> about Negan being a skinny guy that doesn't shut his mouth, that can't stop talking. So I, I think we're going to see in the next four episodes things wrap up rather quickly. They're going to have to because we're going to have to move on to the Commonwealth. Now, whether or not Eugene and, and Ezekiel and Princess and, and Miko can get, are they getting the Commonwealth to come back and help Alexandria? Remember, Alexandria is pretty much falling apart. Last time we saw them, you know, Carol was killing horses just for them to eat. The kids were starving, you know, and eating crap. I mean, literal crap. So, um... I think this is all about the fall of Alexandria. This is the last little bit to tip it over. Poor Alexandria, man. They have they have survived. Alexandria for what? This is what, about eight years now? They've been in Alexandria. It has survived numerous hordes of walkers. It survived Negan's crew bombing it. It survived all of this stuff and the Whisper Horde and just all of these attacks on poor Alexandria have just chipped away at it so much that it's down to nothing. And now we got... Daryl infiltrating this group again. I mean, this kind of also reminds me of him with the claim group from season four, I think. Yeah, I think it was season four from that claim group he was with when he uh, lost Beth and he got picked up by this group. And it's kind of the same thing he was doing here, but now he's got a love interest involved. So intriguing. Um, a bit of a slower episode than the last the episodes two and three, which were really good. This one's a little bit slower, but this is more of a setup episode. Uh, but I want to know what you guys thought about it. Let your voice be heard in the comment box below. Until next time, I will see you guys here as we continue our reaction videos for the final season of The Walking Dead here on the Rant Review Entertainment. Have a good day.